Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button and like this video just so I know that you would like more content like this. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell. It's the bell right next to the subscribe button just so I, I so that you are notified of any videos that I may upload in future. If you're already subscribed to this channel, thank you so much. You are appreciated and it's because of you that I make videos like this one. And to show you my appreciation, I uploaded a giveaway video which I will link down, be down below and I will also insert up here just so that you can go check it out and find out how you can be eligible for the giveaway, okay? And if you have not checked out my wig channel and my natural hair wig channel wig page if you've not checked out my wig page and if you've not checked out my natural hair page I would suggest you do so right after this video so today's video as you can tell is going to be an assumptions tag and what I had done is I had asked people on my social media to assume things about me which I will address in this video right here so without further ado let's get right into the video I have the assumptions right here um, I have screenshot on everybody's assumptions and I will be addressing them right now. Um, the first assumption is that I'm a spoiled daddy's little girl, only girl vibes. Um, I will agree with the first part of that assumption. I was a daddy's girl. I was a serious daddy's girl. And if you can tell from most of my videos, I have mentioned my dad a ton of times. And that is because I was a daddy's girl. But I was not spoiled, and I know my siblings will differ. They'll try to argue with me on this one. I was not spoiled. I believe that my dad, he, he treated us equally well. So um, maybe just a little, just a little bit of him, you know, treating me be a little, a little, just a little bit better. But I was not spoiled. I don't believe I was spoiled. Your accent, please give us. <laughs> I don't know if this is an assumption or a compliment or something, but I will address it anyway. So I don't have a defined accent, and that's probably because uh, I, I grew up outside Zambia, so my accent is a little messed up. And I don't even know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. So if that's a compliment, thank you. And if it's not, well, yeah, I understand my accent. Um, I think you have OCD. <laughs> I kind of do. I actually think I do. It's not medically diagnosed, but I do believe I have OCD. Um, that's because I do like it when things go according to plan. I am such a planner and I want everything to go according to schedule. If the schedule gets messed up even just a little bit, it disorients me. It just makes me disoriented. And I don't even know what made you think that I have OCD, but if whatever it is, I'd really like to know. But I do believe I somehow have OCD. I assumed you were single and that one day I'd have my shot. Um, unfortunately, sir, <laughs> I'm not single. And um, every time we've met, you and I, it's like I'm not single at the time. So I, I'm, I'm sorry. Like, maybe we were just meant to be friends. <laughs> And I know that sounds horrible, but yeah, I think we're better off as friends. Um, I have a big circle of friends. No, no, I don't. I don't. I actually have a very small circle of friends and my circle is so small. You can almost fit and you can't even fit a needle in there. It's like really tiny. Like I have this small of a circle. Of hey. A friendship is something that's very, very big. It's a big deal to me. So if I call you my friend, then best believe you is a friend. But I do have people that I do hang out with once in a while or laugh with once in a while. I'm friendly with a lot of people, but I don't have a lot of friends. Um, I only have a handful of friends and those that I call my friends, I hold very close to me and very dear to me. And yes, there are certain things that these people have done for me that... I that make me qualify them as my friends so no I don't have a, a very huge circle of friends 
you're a perfectionist that also that's similar to what had been said about my ocd i don't think i'm much of a perfectionist because there's certain things that i let to slide like certain things can be disorganized but certain things can't and yeah so you have so much time on your hands unfortunately i don't i don't i don't have much time on my hands i wish a day was longer than 24 hours i wish it had like 36 hours or something just so that i can get a lot of things done i really have time on my hands but because as i mentioned my my circle is quite small it means i'm not always hanging out or i'm not always out with my friends and that means i usually have a lot of not really a lot of time to myself because i have a nine to five job and besides that i have side hustles as well so i wouldn't say i have i have a lot of time but because i spend most of my time alone it does seem like i have a lot of time on my hands so when it comes to hanging out with people i have to make time to hang out with people so i don't i i really sometimes a day is way too short and I know people would assume this because I just started a YouTube channel. So they think this girl has time to be talking to the camera all the time. Actually, the reason I started a YouTube channel is because I'm, a, I'm an overthinker and I overprocess things. And I just thought it would be better to let those thoughts out. So I hope that makes sense. You're a sweet soul whose kindness and easygoing nature is misunderstood by people who have ill intentions that is like one of the sweetest things i have ever been told in my life like yeah and i think it is absolutely true like i totally agree 100 percent a lot of people misunderstand my kindness either they excuse my kindness for flirting they excuse my kindness for i don't know feeling like i don't know they always excuse my kindness for like me wanting to trade my kindness with something so you will find that a lot of especially the males will misread my kindness and take it as though like she likes me because she did this and this no no no, probably not. Probably not. It's just my kindness. That's just it. That's just it. But thank you. Thank you for that. I'll take it both as an assumption and as a compliment. And yes, thanks. And that's it for um, my assumptions tag. I will do more tags like this. Um, this one doesn't is not so detailed because I literally uploaded I literally uploaded that post today asking people to assume things about me, and it was most of, mostly a last minute thing. It was a different video that was supposed to go up today, but I decided to do an assumptions tag because I thought it would be something fun and that some people some, something that people would use to get to know me better as a YouTuber and as a content creator in the making. So I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you've not subscribed to this channel yet, please do. I've linked all my details in the description box down below. So if you want to check anything out, please feel free to do so. Thank you so, so much for watching and enjoy your Friday.